Equities. We have with us Manisha on this joyous occasion, taking us uh, through all things commodities. Manisha, gold, silver, precious metals, what do you have? Oh, well, all of that, actually. There are so many options for consumers to buy this time around at Dhanteras and Diwali, and there are record weddings waiting to happen in November, December, and onwards. And that would tell you that we are looking at strong demand continuing for gold and silver, even at these all-time high levels. Joining us to discuss that further is Amrendra Vumidhi. He's managing partner at Vumidhi Bangaroo Jewelers. Anandran, hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what has been your sense with all-time high gold prices? How have the jewellery sales panned out for this uh, this week for particularly? This week, uh, and first of all, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, this uh, Diwali has been like all other Diwalis has been wonderful. There was a slow start, but like you asked for this week has been one of the most uh, fieriest weeks for us. Uh, the sales have been extremely good, uh, unlike what we had expected. This we thought will be a dull season, but towards the end, it made up for all the dull weeks that we had, and we probably are at least 15 to 20 percent higher than what we did last year. Mm -hmm. Amrinder, and what is it that people are buying? Because with the way the prices have been rising, is it more to do with bridal jewelry, or or would you say people are buying more of gold as in sense of investment and wealth creation? Uh, people are buying uh, everything gold this time, though. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a tradition to buy gold for every occasion, from the child is born, for every occasion people buy gold. And Diwali is a typical uh, gold buying uh, season. So uh, people are buying bridal jewelry, are buying occasional wear. And typically for uh, Diwali, there's lots of parties happening in the town, you know, at least 10 days before there are lots of parties happening. So. People are buying party wear. The, the wedding season is coming up, so people are starting the wedding purchases. This season, we believe, is going to be a good season for us. Mm. Amrindran, you said 15 to 20 percent of a surge this Diwali as compared to previous. What kind of what kind of buying trends have you seen? Uh, this time, we have seen a lot more of the lighter weights. Uh, people are buying more pieces uh, than larger pieces. So, uh, although the ticket size has come down, but the number of tickets has increased this time. Mm. And uh, even as there is a lot of buying, would you say that it is more about gold jewellery or would you say studded and pole keys and uh, jadaus, diamonds, all of that seems to be doing well too? All categories have done well this time, uh, surprisingly. Diamonds have done really well since uh, there was a drop in diamond prices. So, people found that to be a little bit more attractive than uh, the other commodities. So, people have bought uh, diamonds. Silver has gone up. So, silver also has done very well. Uh, all of these people buy with the belief that, you know, uh, their investments are good. Uh, this is the only uh, sector, the investment that the woman makes. And uh, she has always been uh, right because uh, mm -hmm. for so many years, uh, the gold has only gone one direction. Well, yes. Amritan, you know, when it comes to uh, the overall country, we do see South actually leading uh, by far with sense of numbers that uh, that is bought in sense of gold or jewellery for that matter. And then comes North and then West and then East in some sense. How have you seen this play out this time around as well? Uh, it's, uh, I don't think so. The trend has just changed. It's still the same. Huh. South still leads. Uh, the markets were absolutely chock a block this time. Uh, everybody who I spoke to have uh, expressed the same sentiments, said that uh, gold has done uh, very well and they are all very happy for the season. Mm. So you're saying that all-time high prices have not deterred buying at all. Uh, would you have a sense of also on what kind of buying has happened in sense of quantity in this week until now and what are the expectations? Because a lot of people that we are talking to tell us that 42 tons of gold was sold the previous time it was Dhanteras and Diwali. Are, are we looking at similar numbers this time around as well? I think we the market should have done at least uh, 10 to 15 percent higher. So if it's last time was 42 tons, I think we should be around about 50 tons uh, this time around. And, and uh, not record... lesser. Okay. <laughs> All right. Amritan, also going forward, because it is a wedding season, are there any new launches that the street is looking at? And also, uh, is there a lot of competition into the market? Because a lot of people that I spoke to tell us that there are offers and schemes and uh, monthly deposits as well. And there are various ways that uh, jewelers are trying to do businesses. What's your sense? Uh, I think uh, offers is, is a very good uh, way uh, because the first two weeks, uh, the first two weeks were a little bit slow. So uh, the offers started to go up, and then uh, once the offers offers start to kick in, then the crowd start to flow. So I mean, uh, there's no other best way to get a client than giving a offer, and uh, you know, 
Oh, world over, people love a discount. <laughs> oh, they do. I mean, then a final thing then, uh, you know, as compared to last year, what kind of penetration would you see in case of diamonds? Because yes, the prices have corrected almost 20% from the highs that we saw in the previous year. So what kind of an increase in growth and sales have you seen in that one? Uh, go ahead. Diamond has seen a quite a robust uh, growth. There's almost a 30 to 35% uh, growth in diamonds. Uh, and we expect this to continue. And uh, if this continues, we can expect the diamond prices to stabilize a little bit. Uh, so we feel that uh, we, are, we, are, we are stocking up uh, for diamonds and we are pretty bullish on the diamond uh, market. Despite there's a lot of talk about uh, other uh, diamonds, uh, of, of man-made diamonds, but still has hardly mm -hmm. impacted uh, the natural diamonds business at all. Oh, well, absolutely. Lab Grown has its own market, but natural diamonds has a lot of takers. Continuing a final question, then I'll squeeze in one more here. What's your sense on the gold prices going forward? Where do you see the prices now until next Diwali? I think even a layman can guess this. Uh, it's, it's only one way. So uh, with added uh, geopolitical tensions, uh, I don't think uh, there's any other direction for gold. Only up. Amrindra. Uh, uh, I trust the jeweler to always say that gold prices <laughs> yes. are always up, right? Uh, thank you so much. Wish you, your family, a very happy Diwali as well. And if you say that gold is going to be up, then perhaps it is because all Indians, in some way or the other, do have their savings in gold itself. Uh, can't say the same for the IT 